morning. Welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've lost 200 pounds on a ketogenic journey, or have I? Um, I didn't put out a video yesterday, which would have been Wednesday. I was super, super sick. Um, severe, severe migraine beyond belief. Tons of stomach cramps due to me eating that Lily's White chocolate bar. If I had only eaten one square, I would have been fine because I've done that um, time and time again with no issues. I never looked in the ingredients until Keto Diamond said something. And I didn't look until later after I ate the rest of the bar. And it was half a bar left. So it was four squares. Um, which stays in my macros, that wasn't the problem. The problem was, well, it did push me total carbs, um, out, like I had to go net carbs. So the problem was it has chicory root, which my stomach does not like to digest. Also sucralose and a bunch of other stuff. So I had way too much of items that can cause severe migraines for me and stomach upset. Usually if I just have one tiny serving, I'm perfectly fine, but I did that three hour interview the other night live and uh, kind of ate it without thinking and so I didn't know when I woke up the next morning was the headache from the chocolate bar was the headache from reading a computer screen for three hours because I usually don't do that because lights trigger my migraines um, so my blood pressure was sky high so four days earlier we had stepped down my medication for my heart palpitations which meant my heart palpitations were going crazy which triggers my blood pressure to go up while the heart palpitations are going insane so i don't know what came first like did the chicken or the egg come first was my blood pressure and heart palpitations because of my migraine was my migraine because of my heart palpitations and that was it caused by the chocolate was it not caused by the chocolate was it caused by the meds going up so i gave up trying to analyze it because that was just giving me a worse headache um this is issues i have with my body it is not a keto thing i have a severe stomach issues that i can eat something a hundred days in a row with no issues with my stomach, no gastro problems, and then won't be able to eat it for a year or two without dying. Also, the hamburger meat I've been getting, there's no way it is sirloin. I was supposed to go to Costco today and actually just buy sirloin steak, and I was thinking about buying a grinder off of Amazon. Yeah, if I can afford it, um, I might buy one because then I know it's sirloin. Because when I go and cook that sirloin hamburger meat, which is crazy expensive, mind you, like eight something a pound, but it's the only thing I can process without getting sick, 10 ounces cooked down to four something. Yeah, that's not sirloin. My sirloin, I could cook a 3.4 ounce burger and it would be over two and a half ounces like at the most it would lose an ounce that's losing like half half of whatever i put in there is going away in the grease and now i can't eat the grease um i know a lot of people on keto do but i can't because stomach issues so i'm going to show you uh yesterday i think that yeah i should have yesterday's reading so Yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. So you're going to see right now first, yesterday's um, blood coast readings, scale. Um, you're going to see my two C's carb manager, my two C's exercising um, should be there as well, the Fitbit, because I like to show y'all those two things because when I wake up Wednesday, whatever my GKI is, whatever, my scale is is from those things keto diamond shows you the foods that she ate during that time but i just stick my foods in like yesterday you know the day before video so you're going to see those numbers we'll discuss those numbers and then we're going to come back and discuss today's numbers okay so hopefully i don't lose y'all here I knew it was going to be lower, 
So the ketone is 0 0.8 for anyone who can't see the screen. I was bad and ate Lily's chocolate bar last night, which is keto, but it's total carbs, or net carbs, not total. And I've woken up with a horrible migraine. 82. So those aren't terrible numbers for as high of uh, total carbs that went yesterday. Okay, so yesterday's GKI was 5.6. Moderate is pretty good from going 40 something to total carbs. Like, I got way high on all that stuff. Um, and woke up feeling like death. And did you see the number on the scalp? I'm not sure to celebrate or not right now, but I'm going to. No, I did not throw up. No, I did not have diarrhea. Uh, so I didn't lose that weight from being sick like that. I was just really sick, feeling like I was going to throw up with the horrible migraine. Um, I feel like I'm going to throw up today. I, that's why I'm sitting here on the couch. I forced myself to put makeup on. I forced myself to make this video. I am in PJs right now. I did stick a bra on, not to be, so I wouldn't be rude because some people freak out about that. But I'm in PJs curled up on my couch talking with y'all. But if you didn't see the screen, the way I'm was 167.2. Okay, that's a new low. I lost one pound this month, but it's a new low. I'll take it because this month the scale has not been budging. Even if it's short-lived, it's a new low, right? So let's roll today's morning reading. We'll go ahead and do the weigh-in for this morning. I will show you my little card manager and my non-existent Fitbit from yesterday. Ketones, 1.4. I knew they would be good. I didn't eat much yesterday. I was really sick. Got to remember, one square at a time when it comes to Lily's chocolates. My tummy can't handle it. I didn't throw up or anything. I was just really nauseous with a horrible headache. All right, 84. GKI should be pretty decent. Okay, so today's ketones was 3.3, so I'm back in high ketosis, so that's a good thing. You saw I didn't really eat much of anything yesterday. It was, I don't even think I recorded what I ate. It was um, boneless, skinless chicken breast, about seven ounces with some Boryon Q powder. I drank Boryon Q powder quite a few times yesterday. It is not a healthy one. It has monosodium glutamate and maldextrin in it, and I did have five saltine crackers as well that I totally forgot to record um, in the carb manager. So I did have carbs yesterday. It was saying I only had like two carbs, but I didn't. I had 20 total. I made sure not to go over 20 total. I counted them out, um, but I was very, very nauseous and that's all I could stomach. I did manage to get down one or two of my coffees um, and that was late in the day. Like I was so sick. I didn't get anything in until like eight o'clock last night. I'm um, just nausea, the migraines and all that. I have gone ahead and eaten today. I think it's four o'clock right now. I think I ate around two. It was very hard. It took me an hour to get down my lunch and I will show you that in a minute. Um, so also today's weigh in was 168.2. I am happy with that. I'm okay that I went up a pound from yesterday because Yesterday's weigh-in was way later in the day too. Okay, we're talking like six in the evening without eating or drinking. So if I had gone to six in the evening, I'm pretty sure it would still be that low. But I weighed in this morning at 10 o'clock and I'm 168.2. I'll take it. I'm perfectly fine with that number, especially since I did eat five saltine crackers yesterday. You might be saying, but you didn't go over your carb limit. Yes, but when this girl eats wheat, items like that it normally makes me go up a pound and I've been taking ibuprofen around the clock even today around the clock so I will take this number because there's been no exercise no sweating there has been nothing but sleep and stand on the couch and yeah that's my life the last two days uh, today's the first time I can have the windows open to see the sun because of the migraine 
the migraine's gone, but I'm still taking the Motrin, so I don't know. Um, so I am still excited, and I am not the only person. I have been watching a lot of channels, and a lot of people said they have not lost weight this month. Okay, so maybe it's a September thing. I don't know. I know with me, it's be probably because I've added all these different ingredient lists, like not clean keto. And that's where I can say calories in, calories out does not work for me because this girl has been some 600 days, only a couple 1400 days, the rest is 1200 or less, and my metabolic rate is supposed to be around 2000, so I'm in a huge calorie deficit every single day this month. So if calories in, calories out actually worked for me, I would have lost the 7 to 8 pounds like I normally do but it doesn't and my body's stressed i can feel it and trying to come off those meds uh, it's really stressed my body out i had like i said had to go back up again and in a couple of weeks i will try to go back down again this time i need to make sure it's not near the pms time because i already get sick three days prior i know what's coming i get sick every month three days prior um, I get stomach issues, I get really nauseous, I get extremely cryy, I hurt everywhere like I got the flu. Also, I've been working out so much and sweating so much, what if my electrolytes are off? So I've tried the best I can to add a lot more salt, and on the first, my Himalayan salt chunks are coming. And I'm going to try what Keto Chaos does, or Keto in the Chaos um, does, is put, making solo water. I'm going to try it and see what happens. Maybe that's my issue. Maybe that's why I'm having these headaches. Maybe that's why my blood pressure is going up. Yes, your blood pressure can skyrocket if you're dehydrated or low on sodium. Um, my mom is totally texting me and confusing me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've eaten today. You're barely going to see any steps tomorrow. Um, that's probably all I'm going to eat other than probably drink some more of the Boreon Cube stuff. And that's it. Like, this is where I plan on being all day. Literally throwing this bra off and curling back up on this couch and watching Element Elementary or something like that. I've been watching it. The Sherlock Holmes one. It's on Hulu. I never watched it when it was originally out. I don't even know what season I'm on. I'm way up in there. And at first I was like, oh, this is horrible. I don't know about this actor. And now it's like, Bam, no, I like this actor and everything. And my mom is coming over here. So let me shut up because I don't know what she's coming for. And I will show you my food right now. So these are hammers, but I had made like hamburger bowls, like the whole center was bowled out, but they did not cook that way. So they turned out into normal hamburgers, not really holding the stuff I wanted. Um, but yeah, it is two o'clock and this is my first meal of the day and I broke my fast about an hour ago with some coffee. Okay, so I thought I was done eating for the night because I was really nauseous. Well, the nausea went away about an hour ago and now I'm absolutely starving. So I'm about to go in that fridge and see what I can find to eat because yeah, I am starving. Like crazy starving. Like I haven't been this hungry in a long time. Like my tummy's growling and everything. Um, so I think I'm going to go cook up like four pieces of microwave bacon or something and get some water because maybe I'm just thirsty. So I'll get some bacon because I need to up my sodium right now anyways and grab some water, drink a lot of water and see what happens. And my daughter is going to give this a taste test. She doesn't want to be on cam. So you're just going to see me and hear her in the background. Okay, so here we go. Do you have a piece? Uh, I need to get a piece. I'm only going to eat one because uh, my stomach been at dinner. Kind of smells like cheddar. What is this supposed to be? Um, cheddar and sour cream. Tastes like Pringle. I don't like it. Mm -mm. <sighs> the only thing I've liked at Quest Chip so far is Luda and Taco. One out of ten. Do you like it? Um, yes. Number, um... Ten being the best. Sorry. She's got to think. I can tell you it's a one for me. Or a seven. zero. She gave it a seven. I gave it a zero. So, it's all about your own taste buds. It's a 3.5. It's horrible. 
The aftertaste is horrible. Oh. No, <laughs> she's gagging after the aftertaste over there. It's stale. Maybe that's it. This guy's stelly thing. I wonder if the cats can have it. It's cheese. It. It's not real cheese, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, do you want to put on a show? Hey, little missy. Hi, honey bear. Hey. <laughs> She's camera shy. Look at her tail. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you playing? Are you wondering what this is? <gasps> Hi, baby. Baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <gasps> are you showing off? You're getting dirt all in your boo boo. You're getting dirt all in that boo boo. Oh, come back! <laughs> Sots is like, don't mess with me, I'll bite you. Hi, he totally would, too. He, he doesn't like you, Haley. Oh, hi, honey. Go look where honey went. Hi, Missy, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Where are you going? Where are you going? Wanna play? Socks. He's like, leave me alone. I'm eating my cat food, okay? Honey, say hello. Are you playing with your tail? Boo. Jesus. Aw, and your boo-boo. Hey, this grass. Like she got dirt all over the boo-boo. She's eating the grass. She's playing with it. Why do you roll around in the dirt if you're gonna get dirt all over your open wound? This is what happens when cats fight. You have an inbound. What do you think you're gonna jump out at me? You think you're gonna jump out at me? I am a crazy little cat. I don't like cat food, so I run around covering up like it's poop or something. And no cat can eat it in the yard, even though they all love it because I think it's shit and I cover it up. <laughs> what is wrong with my cat? My cat's completely insane. She is so spoiled with sardines and tuna and everything that when I put out cat food for the other cat, she goes sniffs it down and covers it up with sand like it's a, some, like she took a dump. <gasps> I am like dying. This is like the, the second week in a row. Like she's doing it every day. I literally have to keep moving it around the yard and chase her away from it because she's covering, <laughs> she's covering up. And she won't let any of them eat it because she thinks it's poop. <laughs> I'm trying multiple different brands and different smells. And she thinks it's all poop, I guess. <laughs> My kid is dying over there. So I'm just going to make a quick ending. It is almost 7 o'clock. I ended up only eating two pieces of those bacon yeah. because it gave me complete heartburn instantly. I'm trying to drink some water right now as I hit myself in the head like an idiot. Um... So yeah, the heartburn has been insane. I wonder if it's from eating the Lily's chocolate. Like, I'm going to have to pay for it for a while for eating that junk and putting it in my body. I only ate one of those things. Like I said, it was gross. I'm not a fan at all. Um, and that's it. That's it. We'll see what the scale says tomorrow. Hopefully it goes down. But I'm not hopeful because Motrin around the clock for three days now with no exercise for two days. So we'll weigh in tomorrow and see.